everyone. This is Holbrook and it's Foundations time again. Let's get our warm up going and instead of echo we have my friend Spot. We will not do the vowels because we'll be doing vowel extension. So remember I'll say it and when Spot looks at you, you repeat it. B, B. G, G. J, J. L, U. M, M. N, N. O, octopus, ah. So much for not doing vowels. P, P. Q, U, Qu. W, W. X, X. Y, Y. W, H, W. C, H, Ch. S, H, Sh. T, H, C K K A L L ball all A M ham am A N fan an A N G fang ang I N G ring ing O N G song ong U N G lung ung A N K bank ank and today's good sound, drum roll please. I-N-K, pink, ink. There it is. The color pink is our keyword and the sound is ink. Ink, like what comes out of a pen. Okay, now for our, actually I wanted to go back to this for one moment. Who remembers why the vowels are a different color from the consonants? That's right. Every word has a vowel, and that's why the vowels are a different color. And vowels can make multiple different sounds depending on the type of syllable and what other letters are near it. So we know on our chart there, the vowels are salmon, and the consonants are yellow, and the glued sounds are green. Very good. Get ready to sing these vowels. A, apple, a, e, ad, e, i, Itch, I, O, octopus, ah, U, up, ah. Great job, my friends. We're going to start with a little bit of writing or building, so get your supplies ready. And I'm going to show you another way you can do it. If you have a device to type, you could do it like that. So we're going to do some word chains. Your first word is ink. I've already written it, but everyone can write it or build ink. Okay, change ink to think. So if you wanted to do it like me on a computer, you would be able to just keep changing it up top, or so that we can see the whole chain, we would do this. Okay, get ready. We're gonna change think to pink. Okay, now listen, change pink to stink. Let's tap those parts out. St, st, ink. Ink is our glued sound, so we keep it glued together. St, st, ink. Good. Change stink to sting. G, listen to the ending. Change sting to thing. Think about what parts stay and what parts change from sting to thing. Good. Change thing to ring. That's right, I still hear ing, so I'm just changing the beginning. And one more, let's change ring to rink. Okay, let's read back over our words. Pink, stink, sting, thing, ring, rink. Nice job on that. It's called a word ladder or a word chain. Way to go. Okay, I have a sentence for you to write. I do not have my word frames today, 
due to some technology being down, but I will be able to make little lines for the words. So here's your sentence, and when you see spot, please repeat it back. Spot thinks you like to wink. One more time. Spot thinks you like to wink. Okay, let's see here. We have Spot thinks you like let me pull this down a little bit to wink and then we need an end mark. Okay. We know we need to start with an uppercase, even though I don't have the uppercase frame, and end with our period. And let's see which ones are trick words. Spot, you can tap out. Thinks has our glued sound of the day. You, you is a trick word that you need to make sure you can do correctly, so I'll put that color on it. Like is a word you sh trick word you should know at this point. Spot, thinks, you, like, and two is a trick word. So please go ahead and pause here and write your sentence. All right, let's check it over. Please check, did you do an uppercase? You should have your uppercase S, and you should have your N mark. Good, now check all your trick words. This one is like. It's a trick word because we haven't learned vowel consonant E yet. The E is jumping over the consonant to make the I say its name. Oops, this one was supposed to be U. And then this one is like. Spot thinks you like, this one was two, make sure that was right. Okay, now please go through and tap out all the words that are tappable, like our first word, spot. Ah, t, spot, thinks. S, ink, s, spot, thinks. Uh oh, where did my words go? Okay, there we go. Spot thinks you like to, and the last word we can tap out has our glued sound for the day too. Wa, ink. Okay, I have my end mark, and now we need to practice reading it smoothly. Spot thinks you like to wink. You can scoop it and read it. Spot thinks you like to wink. Spot thinks you like to wink. Spot thinks you like to wink. Do you? Do you guys like to wink? Wink is blinking with just one eye. I can wink with that eye. I can wink with that eye. Let me see you try to wink. Great job winking. Okay, we're going to play a quick game with ink. I'm thinking of a word that has ink in it, and it means the same thing as smelling bad. Here's a clue, a diaper, a dirty diaper. Do you know the word? Stink. Mm -hmm. Stink has ink in it. Okay, let's try another one. I'm thinking of a word that's a place that you can go ice skating. Good, it's a rink, an ice skating rink. One more. I'm thinking of a word that when you don't know the answer right away, you have to do this. You have to take your time and really think. That's right, the word was think. All right, my friends, last thing for today is that we're going to practice reading some words with ink in them. Here we go. Ink. Link. Spot's going to read these by continually blending the sounds. He's not going to separate it like this. S ink. Sink. He's going to really blend it. Sink. Sink. And then he'll say it fast, okay? Try it like this or do it the way that's best for you right now. Link. Link. Sink. Sink. Ink. Think. Ink. Wink. Ink. Mink, rink, rink, 
ping, ping, sink, sink, ing, thing, or ang, rang, long, long, ang, hang, dink, dink, think, think, ink, wink, blink, blink. Whew, good job blending. Don't let that first sound stop until it hits the next one. Especially easy with ones like link, link. Good, keep practicing. And our last part of today is let's read some sentences with ink. Go ahead and pause it and try, and then you can listen to me do it the right way and practice sounding smooth. The kids are at the rink too. The kids are at the rink too. The wings on the bug are pink. The wings on the bug are pink. She thinks that you will come. She thinks that you will come. Great job. Be on the lookout for ink in your reading this week. Take care.